Hello, my beautiful fountain friends. Welcome to Creepy Nibs episode 100. I am Count Chocula as always. And we're gonna, I don't know, I figured I'd do something special. This is my 100th episode of Creepy Nibs. This is crazy. Like, I did too many videos. So, um, what I have done is had a drink <laughs> and I figured I should you know redesign my Nibbat logo mascot mascot it's been there since I started the channel and it wasn't done with fountain pens so like serious issue there but it was done with the phone that I do my recordings on so it's still linked to the channel just not quite as much as I would like so I have a 6x6 piece of watercolor paper here in front of me. I've done a preliminary sketch. I've taped the edges down with some bat washi tape because it only seems appropriate. And I have no idea how well this is going to go. But uh, it's going to go because I'm doing it right now. All right. So I have my usual palette. Here are the colors. Diamond on Moke. I'm not going to use most of these. Really, I'm just going to focus on the four I have here. This is an MSIN Elis Palace Red, which is my favorite red. I have Colorverse Matter here, which is my favorite all-purpose ink, um, like of all time, forever. Uh, down here, I have Sailor Studio 123, which was an incredibly generous, wonderful gift from a beautiful person meant to be. My heart is always with you. And my favorite pink, Tono and Limbs, Who Are You? In, uh, I've, I'll try and use a couple pens with this too. This is my Pen BBS 480 with a Nemesine Medium Nib, inked with Vinta Nakar, Mother of Pearl, Mother of Pearl Nakar, 1934, something like that. Um, I have, of course, my Sailor Professional Gear Imperial Black with a Medium Nib, currently inked with Stipula Calamo Dark Gray. Um, I have my Pilot Pereira Daily Driver, Rider, Dyer, something like that, uh, inked with Twisby Black, which I am a huge fan of. Comes with a bottle like this. Great bottle. Smells bad, but it's not like Noodler's bad. It's like chemically bad, not like fungal milkness, blah. Um, let's see. I don't know. I don't know if I want to use any other pens. Uh, I have my, you know, old standby sketchy pen, Coveco Frosted Sport and Toasted Coconut, with a triple extra fine nib that is black, inked with Rara und Klingende Dokumenta Schwarz. I have an ice sport, same ink, double broad nib. Uh, I have my water brushes. I have some water here that I will probably have to change about halfway through this. Unless I decide to put it in my drink the whole time. But I hope I don't do that, because that's not... I don't know. I don't want to put sugar in my ink. That's bad. So, uh, oh, also I have my sample of Ferris Wheel Press Cream of Earl. Currently also in my Pilot Falcon with a medium nib. Right here. Um, and I think that's all I'm going to do for the pens. Yeah. I don't have anything else inked up with something I really want to use for this. Rambling, let's get started. Where the fuck do I get started with this, though? Um, hmm. Hmm, hmm. I'll take this one. This is my flat water brush. Oh, got the eraser shavings here. Uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. Zoom? Maybe? Yes? Eh, whatever. You can see it just fine. Uh, I'm actually going to take a big flat brush. Oh, wait a minute. Ooh, ooh, no. No, here's what I'm gonna do. Eh, get over here. Get over here. Okay. I have this blush brush that I've been using as a mop brush. I feel like that'll be really good for the edges. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, excuse me. That's gonna happen a lot. Be prepared. Be prepared. Okay. So I'm gonna use Noodler's Proctor's Ledge for the edges. I mean, like, Noodler's Proctor's Edge. Because I'm an edgelord. 
Yes. Okay. I feel like this will be good for getting that fuzzy texture on Mr. Nibbet or Miss Nibbet. Androgynous Nibbet. There we go. That is a better representation of who I am on the inside. Yes. All right. I wish you could, I could keep this in the frame, and then it wouldn't be a pain in the butt. But unfortunately, that is not going to happen. So, right, do that in the corner there. Get a lot of pigment. More pigment. Uh, I need more water now. Oh, too much water. Too much water. Too much water. But whatever. You know what, this isn't, it doesn't like have to be the new image I use. I just want to have fun. I want to paint a new bat. And I'll hang out with you guys. Because you guys are like, kind of in my lifeblood for the last almost two years. In May, it'll be two years of Creepy Nibs. I cannot believe that. Ooh, shit, that glare is a pain in the butt. It's got to stop. Yeah. You guys have dealt with worse. I might go in with some gouache at the end for some highlights. That'll be fun. I don't know what I'm going to talk about in this video. I'll just like say words from my brain mouth while I hand paint. Whatever. You guys will hang out with me. Because we have a beautiful friendship. This ink did something other inks did not do in the palette, and it turned kind of into like a cream. Which is pretty neat. Okay. Um, good enough for this part, I think. We'll go back in if we have to. How's that? Oop. Almost put it in my drink, part number one. Okay, let's go. I want to give him or her, I want to give them, them, I don't know. I can't decide what pronouns I want to use. So this bat's going to have to be just confused as I am. Not confused, conflicted. That's the word. Because I'm very certain of, like, what I am and I'm not. But I'm not certain about how to go categorizing myself. Alright, so we're going to go in with to to Tono and Limbs. Who are you? Most of that ink off, blend it out. Oh, 
Oop, a little too much water. I can blot. Yeah. That might look really bad. We'll see. Um, um, let's see. I want to do 123 inside the ears because I think that'll look really pretty. are mostly ears. I need to get more ear. Contrary to popular belief, bats are not blind. Their eyesight isn't great, but they're certainly not blind. Uh, that exposure bad. I'm going to fix it. Okay, that's that's a little better. If it's better, I can't tell. I, don't, I can't tell. I can't. I can't tell. Um, okay. Uh, let's just go into the inside of the mouth. Of course, we're going to use Nemesine Elis Palace Red. Get that nice bloody color. Okay, his little teethsies. I want to make him look like he's smiling. It's fine. I'm not worried about it. That looks way brighter on the video. This angle's bad. Because it looks fine to me, but from that angle it looks really, really bad. Maybe it does look really, really bad. And my eyes are just deceptive as fuck. So thank you guys for coming along for the ride with me. This is just always a good time. I love making videos. I love interacting with all of you. And I am almost, almost at 250 subscribers. I know that's like nothing in terms of like YouTube in general. But to me, it means a ridiculously tremendous amount of awesomeness. So, thank you. If you have added to that number, awesome. Because it's not like the number that I'm concerned about. It's like the people behind the number. That, like I can bring joy to enough people that they want to continue viewing my content. It's kind of breathtaking and mind-blowing, and a bunch of other adjectives that I am unable to fathom. I wonder what I want to do for... Maybe I'm... Hmm. I want to do some, like, dry brushing for the face. So we're going to use this. This is one of the ones that are always in my fire swatch with me. Take color versus matter. Get that really worked in.
most of the ink off that. I have a fan brush. Why am I not using the fan brush? Where's the fan brush? Eh. There we go. Aha. You know, there's a thing in it. I should look at my reference picture. Oop, you just saw the town in which I live, which is not a fake name. <laughs> it's real. So this is the, the picture I'm using for reference. Very cute, but like, of course, his nose is a nib. I'm not trying to go, like, exact, because that'd be way too much of a pain in the ass. But. Some fuzzes. I should take that other brush again. Rhinos sometimes look like fountain pen nibs. Not always. Yeah. Yeah. I got this. I got this. We're good. Totally got this. Yeah, yeah maybe I don't. Not on this side. <laughs> Mouth looks like it's dripping blood. Yes. On a board with that. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take this. I hope you can hear that, because that's a sexy sound.
Oop, picking up some of that red. That's okay. Try to do like a heart shaped breather hole kind of thing. I don't know. Maybe it worked, maybe it didn't. And then, since this is a shimmer. Going with that, I'll take the teeny water brush. Shall I blend that out a little bit? Maybe. Let me just get this feet nice and primey primed. Yeah. Yeah. Juice it up, baby. So just really want shimmer on this. Wow, wow, I was trying to put the cap back on. The cap is over here, I unscrewed the barrel. We're doing it, you guys, <laughs> we're doing it. Okay, uh, so I used, I already used all the four that I definitely wanted to use. So that's the thing. I am gonna go in with some of this cream of Earl. It's really a light, kind of pale. Uh, I'm gonna do some stuff over here. Round the eyes. Base of that there. And get some color in there and blend it a little bit without getting rid of all those nice lines. Oh, there, this is putting out too much water. Not my bag. Your bag, maybe. My bag. No, thank you. But do some of that. Uh, maybe? Hmm? Okay, that looks like it's white. There's actually pigment there. Pinky swear! We all know how much I love swearing! <laughs> Definitely needs more there. Dark enough for creepy nips. Mm -hmm. Dip a teensy bit in a proctor's ledge. Some water down for that. Oops. I put it in like a different spot on the palette where I shouldn't have, but whatever. Okay. Get most of that off. Probably wait for that part to dry. I'll go in again. I don't like this. I don't like this nib part. That makes me bummed. Boo. Hmm. Hey. 
ha hu ha he ha hu. Let's clean that off. Maybe I should go in some cream of earl in that spot. This ink though, it's very pretty. I'll just blend this red right out, use it as kind of like lips. I can take cream of Earl on the teeth. Let's see. Ah, oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. I fucked up, fucked up. Really, we want to be fucking down. Maybe we can salvage it. Yay! Okay, better. Better. Let that sit for a minute. Let it soak into the paper and then we can blend it. Doom, gloom, chicken womb. Chickens have wombs. What's that part called? What do they like make the eggs in? Ornamental penmanship? It's not called ornamental penmanship. Okay, let me Google this. Do chickens have wombs? I just want a yes or no. Yes or no question. Yes or no question. This is a yes or no question. I, I know they don't have penises, but do chickens have wombs? Fuck, I don't care. I don't care enough. I don't care. I don't care enough to keep looking for a real answer. Thank you for your uselessness, Google. Fuck. It's not bad enough that you spy on us. You gotta, like, prevent us from learning whether or not chickens have wombs. Whoa, too many, too many.
so apologies to you, I guess, if, you know, this is not something you wanted to see out of the 100th episode of Creepy Nibs. But I am having a good time. I am exercising my mediocre artistic talent. I am rambling. There's one thing I'm good at in my videos. It's rambling. And I'm doing it. Right now. Eat my fuck. Eat my fuck. <laughs> Give me the fries. I want the back fries. It's okay. I want to darken those spots anyway. Fuzzy bat. Yes. Beautiful baby. Um, let's get some more depth in those ears. I am. Um, um, um. I'm gonna take this calligraphy nib. Let's see if I can get some of that Sailor Studio 123 on it. At least enough to do a couple little lines. Yeah! And then this is good for like that deep part of the ear. The Deepak Chopra. on this brush. Nothing anymore. I'll just go and put a little bit more there. It's not even. It doesn't have to be. This is creepy nibs. We are odd. Odd and creepy motherfuckers. This time we don't fuck your mother. That's gross. Call your significant other mommy in bed. Totally cool. No kink shaming on this channel. No kink shaming. None. I will not have it. I will not have it. Sexual liberation. Alright, so... Hmm. Hmm. Definitely gotta do more with this. Definitely gotta do more. Uh, I am going to... <laughs> Let's see, is this brush usable? I think there's fake blood in it. So it's like sticking together. Even oops, it just broke. <laughs> Even better, okay. So I'll go back in with the nimbusign. A little bit of a tongue kind of thing. And I'll take some matter. Mix it in, make it a dark red color. Go around the edge of the mouth. Let me go back to my bat picture. Okay, I get it. You're not going to tell me the chickens have wombs. Uh, definitely get more matter in this part. Get like the in 
inside of the mouth. Nib bat, nib bat, roly poly, nib hat, nib hat. I wanted a hat made of nibs. That'd be sexy. The sexiest hat ever. Yeah. Get some more water so we can blend, like for realsies. I gotta make sure this doesn't stop recording on me before I'm ready for it to. That would be bad, I'd be bummed. Yeah, 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 I gotta get some more ink on that background, whoa. Ugh, I am thirsty today, in more ways than one, cause quarantine stuff. Anyone else is experiencing a tremendous amount of sexual frustration. My heart is with <laughs> you. <laughs> I'm mostly kidding. To be honest. It's not something that I feel is a need. Anyone who says it's really a need... It's kind of, I don't know, probably bullshitting you. Oh, I'm dipping in the wrong spot. I wonder why it wasn't coming out the way I wanted it to. Just nip bat. I'm totally cool. Whatever you guys feel is right. Oh, I so wish I could keep the palette in frame for this. But then you'd have to see the rest of my desk, and that's embarrassing as fuck. No, thank you. I got some more water down. Oops, got a little bit of that Eos Palace Red in there. That's a little dangerous. I am so excited for this tape peel. It's gonna happen later. Excuse me again. Is that burp number two? Number three? Whatever. This isn't drunky nibs. Not drunk. Just had a couple drinks. Strong drinks. I'm a lightweight. <laughs> so I guess if you want to get technical, this is a drunky nibs episode. I'm not calling it that. If you don't like it, unsubscribe. No, please don't. I need that validation in my life. I'm a very sad and lonely millennial. <sighs> okay, so, alright. Let me go... 
gonna get this teeny water brush back and a clean piece of paper towel. Oh, maybe a Q-tip. I'm gonna use a Q-tip. Let's see if I can get some of this up. But Cream of Earl apparently has better water resistance than I was into. Fuck! I made it worse. <sighs> It's cool, it's cool. I said I might go in with some gouache for highlights. But what I really want to do right now is take care of this nib slit. I guess the nib in general, I can kind of outline it. I shouldn't have done like right side up heart shape. Just I love fountain pens. So much love. So much love here between all of us. It is a beautiful thing and I will forever be grateful for it. I'm kinda of like whispering this whole time. It's a thing. It's a thing. Those ears look bad. I, I mean, they look okay. You know, fuck it. Fuck it. I don't care. I am gonna take some of this Fenta Mother Pearl. I'm gonna drip it on my palette so that I can use it more efficiently than in a pen. This is so one of my favorite inks. I love it. I love it so much. This and like Nemesis and Colsac Nebula, favorite shimmers of all time. I love them so much. I want the whole nib to be sparkly. Can I just get the whole thing to sparkle? I want Razzle, dazzle. I just saw a bug, which is weird. I only see bugs in my room when I'm filming. Only when I'm filming. And then I see it, and I have to say something about it, because I have the intention span. What the fuck? Get out of my face. Ugh. Seriously, I never see bugs. Never see bugs in my room. It's only when I'm trying to impress people. God damn it. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Alright, so I need definitely to go back in with some Proctor's Ledge and like even this out up here. Whoa. Whoa, pigment. Relax. Don't you dare try to take over my nip bed. I'll kick your rotten little butt. I should do some, like, shading around the nib.
I'm not an experienced painter, as you all can see. I just like to play with stuff. I have a good time when I do it. I love it, especially when I get to do it with my friends. By do it, I mean like paint. Not... Jesus Christ, calm yourself, Count. You're being a little bit too obvious here. And it might put some people off. Like people that you don't want to put off. Like people that you care about putting off. That's the thing. Okay. Um, hmm. <laughs> uh, I want to get some more of this and like over here. Yeah, yeah. Still a little like darkness around the eyes. I am tired all the time. Whoa, way too much pigment. What the feck? Is this my tiny one? It better be cool. I am surprised this paper is standing up this much to my bullshit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Relax, baby, relax. It's all good. It's cool. We cool. It's fine. This is the thing. This is the thing that I did. It's the thing with my hand. Still currently just stab the paper with the fan brush. Pro technique. Get it. Get it, baby. Get it. Ooh, let's get... Oh, fuck. Too much. Too much. Stop. Okay. I'm gonna make sure there's no white showing. I don't want that. Um, I hate that nib. In the middle, it looks bad. So I thought that when I redid it, I'd be able to do the nib. So it looks more like a nib. Uh, but this doesn't look like a nib. It looks just like a nib-shaped piece of glitter on the page. Uh, do, 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 prayer. Get over here. Save the day. See, if the sides were even, it wouldn't look as bad. But they're not. Buzz, buzz. Calm yourself, Amanda. It's fine. I know you told me to tell you when I'm recording, but I'm not going to do that. Because I adore your spontaneity. The way you make me feel loved in the purest and most platonic way that I have ever felt. It is incredible. Anyway, um, alright. Oh, where's my gouache? Ooh, I took it out of there. Ooh, ooh, oh, okay. Alright, so I got my gouache. This is like cheapo Royal and Langnickel. Royal and Langnickel. Uh, 24 pack I got from Amazon for like 10 bucks. So I'm gonna put some. I have this piece of like sticker backing from like when I do my inky stuff on the sample tops. Oh, I'm itchy. Um, so I don't 
this is probably going to go worse. And I'm going to ruin the shit out of everything. So enjoy this while it lasts. Um, um, okay, so what, what does the nip look like when there's light on it? Where does the light shine? Okay, it's so like in the middle. Like around. Okay. Okay. Let's get some of this with some water. Let's kind of blend this out a little bit because we don't want like super thick. We want super thick. Okay. Easy to blend. Maybe. Kind of something. Alright. Start on the teeth because like. Yeah, okay, cool. Cool, all right, that's cool, that's cool. Uh, all right, let's get the name now. Kind of like rounded out the nib shape. Let's make it look more like a bat nose. I feel like that did not work out in my favor. Whoa, 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 fucking up everything. Fuck! I made it worse. Um, 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 crisis, crisis, go in with this thing. This thing is water brush. I'm sorry, I should have called you my rubber name. The Twisby Black is really getting on my nerves. Yeah, yeah. You know what? If you want to come out and you want to be super dark, you do it. What as I am beyond, beyond the point of caring. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Okay. Okay. This is the thing. Nothing that is happening. I hope I don't look at this later and be like, God fucking damn it. What have you done? Just keep using the water brush and the gouache.
Oop. I go over there. It's cool. Oh, fuck. I hope you're doing well, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you are, except a fascist. No bueno. Okay, this is a bad idea. Why am I trying to go? Oh, fuck. God damn it. Fuck. It's okay. It's not like I'm actually mad. It's like, it's a painting. You know? I don't think I'm doing this for like an hour. So I have no right to get like super upset about anything. Maybe we could do some, a little bit around the face, not a lot, just a little. Oops, totally bumped the microphone. It's probably a very bad sound. <laughs> no good stuff. Happy bat noises. They're so cute. Bats are so cute. I love bats. Like, bats and baby wolves are my favorite animals. Like, I like adult wolves, too. But the babies are just my favorite thing. And baby owls, especially when they're they learning to howl. 
They don't know how to all the way yet, but they're trying their best, and they're doing so good. Oh my god. Tiny baby wolves. So yes, they're not wolves, they are baby owls. Tiny owl. They go, owl. 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 Sorry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make myself cry. I'm gonna stop that. For reasons. Um. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Let's get a little bit more. A teens a little bit around the face. You know. Fuzzmaster. Fuzzmeister General. Okay, um, I don't know, what else can I do? Maybe just, I don't like how the nib in the middle is blue. Oh, but I don't want to mess it up too much. It's already messed up, so like, how much more damage can I do? I mean, really. Yeah, that kind of blends into itself. I can just lighten up that whole thing. Hey, hey, hey. Hey now, hey now, now. Sing this corrosion to me. Hey no, hey no, no. It's a good song for washing your hands. There it is though. I don't remember exactly which part is twenty seconds, but like most of it. Like any like specific part, probably get it. Got nothing to say, I ain't said before I bled all again, I won't bleed no more I don't need no one to understand Why the blood around the hold the higher hand on hearts You know what, all the best goth music Goth music is just like vaguely poetic word salad Set to like the same bass line over and over again I think I've been done here I don't want to I like how it is right now I don't want to screw it up. Um, so, uh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. I'll move this. I had the camera the other way so that my arm wouldn't be, like, completely occluding the view. So now, of course, satisfying peely tape time. All right. So do this one first. Yeah. We could do this one. Oh no, thank god that had a cap on. Yeah. Ooh, can we get two at once with this guy? Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Washy peely goodness. Ooh, I like you. You can stay. 
Oh, and you're cute. You can stay too. <coughs> Yay! Yay. So here's my nib bat. Let's get it to focus. Yeah. Yeah. I am totally shocked at how this turned out. I don't like that part. That's, that's not good. I wish there was more of it over here. But it's too late. It's too late. I said it was done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Not doing it. There we go. Nib bad. Happy fun time with fountain pen ink and cow chocula. Look at them teeth. They're going to bite you. They're going to bite you, but not really. They're just going to do the, you know how like kitties, they like bite you, but they're not really biting you. It's just like technically biting you. Or like puppies. It's like I'm ferocious beast. They're not really ferocious beast. They just want to be. And it's so cute when they pretend they are. They're not pretending. They really don't. They, they really think so. I don't know. I'm just, I'm rambling. I'm rambling. But, like, I should, like, stop moving for five fucking seconds in a video. There we go. Now you can collect it. Collect your nib bat goodness. Because the nib bat is good. The nib bat is a force for good among all things. And your fountain pens should also be a force for good. Even if that good is like writing in your diary about how sad you are and like stuff like that, because that's totally valid, valid thing. Like, I don't know, feeling sad isn't good, but like expressing feeling sad is good. I don't know what I'm talking about. I, I mean, I kind of know what I'm talking about, but I don't know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm just talking because I can, and I still have like 10 minutes of recording time. And of course, I don't need to fill it up, but I'm going to because I'm Count Chocula, and that's what we do here at Creepy Nibs. The nibs always creep, and the dead never sleep. So thank you, thank you for bearing with 100 episodes of my, like, ridiculous voice that is probably awful, and oh god, I really hope I wasn't breathing into the microphone that whole time. That would have been shitty. Um... So yeah, I had fun. I hope you had fun. This was fun. Punch Nazis. Be good. Wash your fucking hands. All that jazz. I love you. Goodbye.